Good morning, beautiful weirdos. We're on indoor afternoon and um, night. I don't. Hi. Hi. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Dead. Yeah. Intros are still awkward. <laughs> so, in the last video, if you didn't watch, I mentioned in one of the readings someone has a friend of me. I'm like, okay, I want to do a pick a card. This was this morning. And frenemy came to mind. So who for all thou frenemy? That might be what I name this. Now this could be an actual person in your life, or it could be an aspect of you. I don't know. We shall see. Well, you shall see. I just realized I can't really see the cards. <laughs> Okay, so we have three groups, as you can tell. Group number one, the minion, boundaries. Group number two, the sea turtle, transformation. And group number three, guardian kitty, and freedom. Timestamps will be in the description box below. In the first comment you see. And... And randomly, I'm thinking of start a, starting a, podca a podcast, which would be great considering I can talk well. It's, but I like to talk. But I don't know what to talk about. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. And if you want a private reading, check, it, blah, blah, check the description box below. And I'm going to be pulling... Numbers, maybe not numbers, maybe numbers, but letters and zodiac signs. If I remember, so we shall see. Okay. Group one. Hello. This is the overall energy of your specific reading. Can we adjust slightly? Okay. So who is this person? We'll find out. Rhiannon, sorceress, you are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. When I first saw this card pop out, I thought of something, but we shall see if it is still said something that I thought. <laughs> Here we did, number 30. Complicated, 11. The devil. I didn't do this intentionally. But this is the... Um, num, 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 num. Nightmare Before Christmas card deck. And I have my Nightmare Before Christmas coffee cup. Just thought I'd let you know. Okay, the devil... And King of Needles, which in the <laughs> Yep. Correlation. Okay. So when I first saw this card, thought of a narcissist. I typically don't feel this with Rhiannon. So it's nothing against her. But in this reading, in the nightmare before Christmas, this guy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Controlling, manipulative. Oh. It's bringing up triggers for me. Huh. So this could be an adult in your life. Or an ex. Ex-boyfriend. 
came to the brain matter space. And it's about as straight as I am. Anyway. <laughs> Does it actually look straight on camera? Anyway, focus. Want some more cards to clarify who this person it could have been a Taurus. I'm like really getting masculine energy now. Whatever gen whatever the gender. Just masculine energy. Very gonna like don't remember his name. Oh my god. It is morning, so that's my excuse. I haven't finished coffee. That's what I'm blaming it on. It'll come to me later. But this dude, whatever his name is, he's very controlling. And I'm big, I'm scary, I'm grrr. Meow, rawr. Yeah, that. So, how to word put words? into that phrase, which I mean. <laughs> this energy I'm feeling is someone who probably first came across as protective and you felt safe with them. But then it was just like little things, little manipulations. He, she, this person could have distanced you from your friends, your family. I'm the only one you need. I don't want you talking to them. I don't want you on that social media platform because these people are paying you too much attention and I'm secretly jealous, but I don't know how to say that. I'm just going to come across as grr and possessive and bleh. Very controlling and manipulative. And if this person is an ex, they're still probably trying to creep up on your social media. That creeper. Say X and A on the creeper, eh? Okay, what else can we say about Mother Mary? Expect a miracle like it landing right there. Expect a miracle. Have faith that your prayers have been heard and are being answered. Okay. Wowzers. For some of you, he, this person could have really crossed the line. Hell, maybe you have a restraining order, but it, they could be arrested soon. Not for all, but for some. They need to be in a timeout because they need to calm down. Cause what the fuck? I feel like this person has really harassed you and your family. Could have almost made you lose a job. I don't know if I said this before, but Taurus energy. Purification. It's time for a cleansing detoxification of your body and mind. Take a risk and put your heart's true desire into action. Okay, I feel like this first row past this is leading towards future present you might want to either go to therapy and actually tell people what all this person put you through you feel like you kept a lot of it to yourself you didn't want to burden anyone burden anyone try to enunciate but you're not a burden okay stop it <laughs> and this person could have really made you feel that way too like whenever you ask for help whenever hell you want to go get food how dare you Different cards. Options. Hey. 
Oh, by the way, Spirit is so proud of you for getting out of the relationship, if you have, or take, or you're about to. So, 1010. Don't remember what that means, but maybe look it up if you feel called to. And you're a lot stronger than you realize, group ones. You may feel like this person has broken you, but you're still pretty solid whether you believe it or not. You just have to find that person, that inner child again. High Priestess of Water. So, this card I'm thinking of Empaths. Could be an INFJ too. Well, it's have his personality type. Apparently I'm one, but yeah, okay. So the narcissist and the empath. Narcissists specifically seek out empaths because the empath, by the way, that's number four, could be significant. The empath always wants to heal everyone. The, the empath who hasn't fully accepted their power or endure how word boundaries sorry my shoulder just popped <laughs> don't know if you heard that but the empath who has not fully set boundaries stood the ground and be like ah, no 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 that toxic shit you're doing right now it's gotta go we ain't no no ma'am no ham no turkey we're not doing that that this is where you're that's where you're going right now you're going to be learning how to set those boundaries and tell someone to eat a dick when you need to so you can still be a sweet understanding person and put your foot down and if people deem you as an asshole for that that is their problem it problem it is not yours Loyalty, Stevie Ray. Don't know why I felt like saying her name, but anyway. You got number 33. Empaths, empaths are very loyal. They, it takes a lot for us to finally snap and be like, snap as in say we've had enough. We're not doing that shit anymore. don't think you really need any uh, Taurus signs just thir just salt 1313 but you don't need any zodiac signs but I might do it anyway last advice and then those maybe hmm yes Jason recharge okay and this person could try to sneak their way back into your life like that. You say, no, no, no. Okay, let's kind of tell group one last advice for this toxic situation and what they can do. Finding. Okay. Finding yourself. Finding, healing, career. I don't think I ever finished that thought. Some of you might want to seek counseling, therapy, or some of you might want to either go to school and become a counselor or therapist. Or maybe you already are. But you might find that it's your true calling. And some of you are very witchy, earthy, like kitchen witches you like playing with herbs you like healing in that way and then justice karma's a bitch but I love justice that's why I like watching true crime and I hate unsolved cases 
It's not like justice. There are a lot of people who have been through a lot of trauma, especially dealing with like injustice in the world, narcissists in particular, in my case. You really, you love fucking justice. Not literally. Sorry, Justice, but I don't know you. Okay. See some letters, so maybe we can get some clarity. At R Y A W and or M. Ray. Ram. Dodge Ram. Dodge means to avoid. Do I want any more? Two more letters. Z. N. I believe. Or you. It's a you. Are your light to wars? Okay, <laughs> I'm just like staring at it like any other thing I can find in these. And the zodiac. By the way, if you want to make some of these of your own, I found these at the Dollar Tree. They're just little blank cube things and I uh, drew on them with sharpies. Okay, zodiac. Aries. Is that Aquarius? It's been a while. I think it's Aquarius. <laughs> Pisces? Question mark. <laughs> Off camera? Absolutely. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. <laughs> then I believe that is a torse. Okay, yeah. Last card of advice that I can give you for your current your current situation. Cause as I said before, I like to talk. Maybe that can be what my podcast is about. Trauma and healing from it. Last card of advice. Huh. Finding self. Set your boundaries. And then piece by piece, you find yourself. And bottom of the deck, you have this here card, which I don't know what it means but currently I just see uh, see it as you felt like a completely different person and as you spend time healing whatever way by yourself or maybe yeah the soulmate to come in and help you I don't know your life story you're finally going to have something revealed to you that is a yourself did I English that right? Don't know. <laughs> but you might have gotten me. Piece by Piece by by Kelly Clarkson. It's going through my head right now, so that song might be significant. Look it up if you feel called to. That was Piece by Piece by Kelly Clarkson. Alright. Uh -huh. Thanks for watching. Spirit wants you to know you're loved. Okay. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day. And if you want a private reading, check the description box below. Bye. Just gonna get these nine over there because I'll forget them.
Freeze frame sports drink. Do you know the reference? Did not mean to take that card, but I did. And it happened, and it's gone now. Transformation. Hi, group two. Transformation is your overall energy. I was about to play with the camera again, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We're fine. It's fine. Athena, inner wisdom. This is... I feel like this reading is going to be more about an aspect of you that you think is the enemy. Just the heads up. It's the vibe I'm already getting. Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without d delay. And owls could be significant to you. Owl could be your totem animal or spirit guide, spirit animal. You could even have some owl jewelry that you wear. So that got forbidden, number 18. And I just saw it as 81. <laughs> This, like, I hear Claire audience. I hear, like, a heavy door slamming on something and fighting in childhood. Where you never felt good enough. So you had to shut it down in order to fit in or in order to survive. So 2222 and 2243. Playful 44. An amount of needles. Oh, okay. Let me count. Nine no needles. And the ten of needles. Yep, that's <laughs> A pretty clear representation of you constantly feeling stabbed in the back. Bruh. I'm sorry you're hurting so much. I feel it. It feels like someone has sucked the soul out of you and you're barely still there. I give you energetic hug if you wish to accept it. You don't have to accept it. Like you've been on an energetic battlefield, energetic as in not literal, maybe sometimes. You've been through hell, you've been through a lot of abuse. You're barely hanging on. Maybe you've just got out of this situation. Hotel group two. I'm an author, and, and there was like a random little post interview thing. It's like, what would you tell your younger self? And my answer was, hell doesn't last forever. That is currently coming to mind. And yes, I just had like a little self promo. <laughs> it's terrible at promoting. Oh, well, maybe my books might bring you joy. If I remember, I'll 
leave them linked in the description box, but it's fine. It doesn't matter. Number nine, and it's chaos. It's what it felt like you have been through. Else can I tell group two? The grass is greener on the other side. Confidence. And the 42. But this feels like the person put you through hell. Maybe it was a woman. Mother, grandmother, aunt an older woman who you looked up to at one point who or, or who you were told that you should look up to because they're the person taking care of you and or adult Which, that's just bullshit in itself I feel you should only look up to people who earn respect it's not just given And you have lost, don't know how this fits in, but okay, 24, <laughs> maybe, 42, 24, or this could have been, in a relationship, could have been for some, older person, that you looked up to. Seven of presents, I think. I might be mistaken. Four of candles. <laughs> then you have the Empress on the bottom. Like you're going to pretty soon have a rising from the ashes moment where you realize this person was to indeed toxic and you're going to slowly be able to heal from this toxicity. Now I'm getting more of a, it's was a, your guardian of some sort, Christmas presents, you might not even fully, you could have had a birthday party, but I feel like if they did give you presents, they would immediately take them away. You did one thing wrong and therefore you can't have anything. There's something you did wrong twitch your butt cheek the wrong way like something like that that doesn't he was bullshit medicine woman you are a channel for divine healing power this comes to mind is healers I see something on Pinterest quite often healers aren't so people with perfect lives they're people who have been through hell and still have their heart and still want to help people and I feel like you're gonna have a very big transformation your overall energy just saw 30 of 3 you could indeed be seeing a lot of number synchronicities. 
or mirror mirroring numbers. And you could be on many a journey. I was gonna say something, but it's like na 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 na. It's a secret, apparently. But I feel like if you wish to, you'll be able to help a lot of people. For some of you, you could be feeling drawn to shamanism. Watch out for scammy people. Also, I consider myself a shaman. And I was looking into courses or whatever on how to be a shaman. They were charging over a thousand dollars for something that spirit teaches us for free. It's like, mm, yeah. That don't sit right. So just watch out for those people. Green Terrace, start delegating. Ask others, including me, to help you instead of trying to do everything by yourself. Hell, maybe I will start some kind of shaman course thing. But I don't know where to begin. Maybe I should listen to spirit and let spirit guide me. <laughs> okay. Austera fertility. It's the perfect time for you to start new projects, ac access new ideas, and give birth to new conditions. She's staring at you. Aphrodite, inner goddess, awaken the goddess within you through dance, self-care, appreciating, and appreciating your divinity. And then the arts, express yourself through creative activities, which these go hand in hand. The arts is very creativity. It's very... Awakening to your inner goddess. There we go. That might be words I meant. Mm. Other advice for group. Love is a battlefield. <laughs> so you got love, I don't know if you can see that. Love at number 10. It could be love of self. It could be a soulmate coming in to help guide you through this. Everyone's story's different. I don't know. Then you have vision on the bottom, number eight. Trust yourself and your intuition. Intuition and vision. You could be having dreams of certain someone's, of a certain someone. And s certain someone and or signs that could be significant as in zodiac signs Libra Sagittarius Pisces Taurus 
it could be significant and letter six. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? You good? Did I, I hope I didn't hurt you. Okay. <laughs> letters that could be significant. I have two blank, so it could be spelling out something, you fill in the blank. F, E, C, M, or W, D, N, feels more M, then O. <laughs> I see fake. Mo, um, that could be a U though. I don't know. Alright. Uh, I hope this resonated. If it didn't, it's okay. Leave it. If it did. Awesome. If you would like a private reading, details in the description box below. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Bye. I need some drink. Hope it's not too loud. This microphone is right there. That is delicious, accidentally cold coffee. Yum. How come when iced coffee has to be iced for it to taste good? Because if it's a lukewarm. Ew. Why? Because we need to have things extreme. That's not what I meant to do. Okay. Group three. Hi. Is it good? Is that your card? No, that's your card. Okay. Your overall energy is freedom. So who is thy frenemy? Is thy frenemy thyself or someone in your life? Could be a friendship. Someone who's playing nice and nice, but is really secretly an asshole. Or is actually an asshole and you're just letting them get away with this behavior. We gonna find out? Okay. Okay. Random. I'm very clear audience. And I talk to spirits. And or spirit itself. But for someone who has lost their mom. And you could be thinking of them right now, or something, maybe you dreamt of them. You heard something and thought of them, anyway, they want to say hi. Okay. How you say that, don't know. Divine passion, be honest with yourself, what is your heart's true desire? I will lay the cards out and then tell you what I'd be thinking. Mad, mad, how you say that? Uh, uh, fairness. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. I love justice. Yeah. Individuality in reverse. Number 47. Or 74. But I usually like that. Not today. Queen of Needles. The Tower. And you got two of these cards. High Priestess of Fire. Number five. Okay, I'm 
I'm feeling drawn to this. And this person is reminding me of a nauseous and a narcissist. An evil sadistic woman who made my life hell. And personally, I'm slowly finding my individuality and finding myself versus what other people have made me out to be. And I'm finding that I'm very high priestess to fiery. I am pure fucking chaos. <laughs> and I love it. Also, very cat like. Nickname Ashcat. I feel like this is a little bit of both of there was a, a person who made you lose your individuality and wanted to make you their slave. Individuality and freedom. So overall energy is freedom. But you're still trying to live life, play life by the books. But I don't think you're meant to. I don't think you're meant to be in a box. You don't have to be just one thing. You don't have to do just one thing in your life. You could have a lot of talents. Secret talents that you're scared to share to the world because you're scared that they will turn the people will turn into this person again. And tear away what little bit of self you found. You can't let fear stand in your way from your freedom. Don't take criticism from someone who wouldn't who you wouldn't go to for advice. Would you go to that lady for advice? I wouldn't even give her the time of day, honestly. It might sound harsh, but I ain't got time for that. What else can I tell? Group three. Almost the time. Not, not quite there. You're doing great, sweetie. <laughs> Undying love. The love you have shared is eternal and regardless of the situation. I feel like you want to help a lot of people. You want to give. But you don't know how to find your voice and find exactly what you want to do. But I think you do know, for some of you. But you're keeping it secret out of fear. Again, because hidden talent, hidden ability. going to be ostracized again by for me I was indeed the black sheep of the family I used to not like it I feel like I should fit in no it's just accept I don't want to fit in bro don't just like me in general in this small town <laughs> everyone here is so vanilla if they have any like real character, like they're secretly really like, like colorful, they want to express themselves by wearing like wearing very colorful colors. They don't, and it's sad. Like if you want to wear a oh, pastel rainbow flowy top and some bright ass orange pants and Crocs, you wear that. I feel like. You if this is about what wearing what you want, I feel like when you're most comfortable, truly comfortable, I'm comfortable in very gothic seeming ish, depending on how your version of gothic. 
very alternative clothing. How about that? I would love to wear a ball gown just to, to Walmart. <laughs> if I could wear a ball gown to a workplace, absolutely I would. Also love vintage. That's my style and imagine that in a very southern <laughs> conservative <laughs> town. When I was a kid, my favorite thing to wear was in cold months, camo jacket, combat boots, jeans, t-shirt. I still wear that. Upon occasion. It is okay to be yourself. Because truly the only one who's really going to judge you is you. Honestly, dude, why do you care what they think? Do you want them to be your friend? Do you want them to give you fashion advice? Do you like what they're wearing? This could be metaphorical for do you like what they're doing with their life? Do what you want to do. Unless it's hurting people. Don't other don't hurt other humans persons. Cause rude and illegal. Okay, what else can I tell group three? Spirit is telling me to turn this card upside down. Because that's where you are. But I believe that I should show you this is who you want to be. Individual. An individual who knows how to express themselves. I believe in you. So it's staying like that. And that is also who I am. I argue with everything. Everything and everyone. If I'm comfortable. <laughs> or if I'm in the mood because if sometimes <laughs> like some things it's, it's not worth it. I know what's right. I know what happened. But sure Jan, you just go ahead and right on ahead and believe in that. Okay, you, you just, you go ahead. Okay, what else can I tell group three? <laughs> Transformation. Absolutely. I believe in you to transformation. Yes, that, that is proper English. I'm just... The, the older you get, dude, the more you snap, snap, crackle, and pop. Okay. Butterfly main transformation. You are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Absolutely. So I just need quiet time. <laughs> Take some quiet time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. Contemplate on who, what you're actually drawn to. So whatever you're drawn to is pretty indicative of what you are meant to do in this life and you will have a bright future if you do indeed do so. Stop worrying, everything is going to be fine. Right, this very present moment is temporary. Nothing lasts forever. Some percep perceptions of life. No, this is even real. tell group three listening darkness does not try to read that right there darkness does not always equate to evil light does not always bring good it's, it goes back to what i was saying it's number 23 here looking up numbers i don't know if i mentioned the numbers before 47 and 5 over here hiding also what's happening here freedom and reaches a fire there we go. Okay, so listening and 
if you listen to what other people are telling you, how you should be, how you should dress, what you should do, you're not going to be happy. Because darkness does not always, uh, darkness, say, uh, black clad weirdo, such as I, hi, nice to meet you, <laughs> just not always bring darkness. Perceptions of me will... I have resting bitch face, so me walking down the Walmart aisle, some might be frightened because I'm quite tall, I'm quite broad, <laughs> and I will just stare through you because I am socially awkward. I do not do not know how to people properly. I just walk up to someone, how? I might do that. <laughs> For shits and giggles, okay. So don't judge a book by its character. No. Cover. <laughs> Don't do that. Just be yourself. Do what you want to do. And if someone keeps telling you you need to do this, you tell them to have some quiet time. Because they need, they need to sh shut the fuck up. Okay. I was going to tell group three. Movement. 29. Understanding 43. Last card of advice on what is going to happen to group 3. Vision. You will be a vision. It's number 8. Aphrodite. It's like, this is, I see this as a spirit, as your intuition. Intuition. And just look at, look at her staring through you. She knows she sees shit. She sees into your soul. just trust the process trust yourself and you group threes are very intuitive absolutely you just have to trust that you indeed are on the bottom you have high priestess of earth she just looks like she's done with the shit <laughs> she's over it over the bullshit and doing what everyone else is telling her to do. Be yourself, do what you want to do, and let's see what kind of zodiac signs that mind to be self the second unit the cats. Get the I'm gonna knock these over, so I'm moving those. Hey, zodiac sign. Sagittarius. Sagittarius. Libra. Cancer. Scorpio. Capricorn. Fuck if I know, bro. Been a while. Whatever that is. Also looks like a no. I don't know. I could have my life together. Like, society tells me I should. But that's not fun, so I refuse. Okay. What are some letters that could be of significance? blank ones a lot of blank ones okay then you have B and M and or W and I'm going to S let's say that's a W or double M U Okay. One last card. Last advice. Something spirit really wants you to know. Okay. Then. Alrighty, Ruben. Got well being, protection, prosperity. Being, protection. Prosperity. For those who are still looking at letters. Okay. 
I feel like this could be you if you just let yourself just dancing all freely and shit. But you're see how she's holding the earth? It feels like that's you. Just clutching onto something that doesn't have to be. You could be clutching onto yourself, which if you're truly solid you have the solid foundation with yourself. You don't have to grip so tight because it's not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. If you're truly grounded, you will always come back to yourself. If you find yourself being imbalanced, just breathe and you will come back to yourself into peace. If you believe, if you do believe in fairies, it will happen. <laughs> All right. That's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. If you want a private reading, check the description box below. I think that's all. You can follow me on social media, but I don't really post. But it'll be in the description box below too. Okay. Bye.